If you're a fan of Google Drive, also known as Google Docs, and you want to use that in tandem with your D2L course homepage, you'll probably like this idea. You can embed any folder that you select from your Google Drive into your D2L homepage. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the way I've done it, though there is a variety of different ways, is I've set up a link to the drive here in the navbar. There it is. And this is an embedded Google Drive folder that appears in the LMS without the students having to log into anything Google. So unfortunately, these folders open up in a separate window. But you can see it gives a little thumbnail. And uh, here's some PDF files. They will open in Google's own file viewer, so students can view or print and uh, check out all the files that you, whatever you put in there. So what happens is any file you put in, I've, in this case I've shared these three folders here, any file that you put in them is instantly shared to the students online without uploading anything to D2L. So here's a file here. So I've just uploaded that to the drive. I go back to my course, refresh that. And instantly that file is available for students to download. You couldn't possibly find an easier way to share files with students. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up. There currently isn't a way to embed a folder directly into the LMS. So the workaround that I came up with is putting it into a Google site. So if you have a Gmail or any kind of a Google account, uh, you'll also have access to sites. Just uh, go to sites.google.com or even just search sites in Google and uh, log in with your Google account. And we're going to create a very tiny little site. So I'm going to just call this Drive Demo. I think that's it. Oh, it doesn't like that. There we go. Drive Moosini. No one's taking that one. Okay. It has appeared. So in this uh, very basic site, uh, we're going to start by stripping it down. So I'm going to do that by going More, and then first Edit Site Layout. And these are all different parts of the site. And by right now, this one is uh, is active because it's darkened. So I'm going to click that, and then it turns it off. And I, so now the header is gone. I'm going to turn off the sidebar, and that's stripped down as far as it can go in here. Then I'm going to get rid of this home title here. I'm going to go back to More, and then Page Settings this time. I'm going to turn off Show Page Title. I'm going to turn off Show Links to Subpages, and Save. This is as stripped down as it can possibly get. These things have to be there. Now, I, this is where I can edit the page and embed the Google Drive folder. So I'm going to go to Insert and then Folder. Now when you first open this up, if it looks like this, you actually can't select the folder without going inside the folder. So make sure it's in list format. I'm going to go back to main folders here. So it's got to be in the list format, and then you need to use the boxes. If you click on it, you'll just go in the folder. You don't want that. So in this case here, I'm going to embed the folder called class, or our class, and select that. And I don't need, you can put these on if you want, but I don't need uh, the border or the title. I'm going to save that. And it appears like a little widget. And then when I click save, I'll see a preview of it. And so there is, this is my entire website. You users or other viewers won't see the top bar, so it'll look like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed this site into the LMS. Uh, important before you leave this area is that you need to open up the access. So I clicked on share, and I need to give everybody access to this website, so anyone with the link. You can leave it on public on the web if you like. Um, actually, I thought it was private to start, 
Anyways, so it's set to public. That's fine. That just reminded me is that over here in the folder that you want to share, this one here, I also need to create that. Or sorry, set it to be available to the public. Now when I was setting this up, I already did set it to be anyone uh, with the link, but this is the one you want. You can leave it on this one too as well. This one, um, you may or may not be able to find it through Google, but if you just want the students to access it through the LMS, just leave it in this middle one. And when you do that, it'll confirm it by putting this little picture of a guy on the folder. And then you know it's a shared folder. Okay, so we're going to go back to our site here. I'm going to copy up here the URL. And I'll come back to that once I'm ready to paste it in here. Now in your course, you just need to put it in, or embed this somewhere in your content. It doesn't really matter where. So I'm just going to go over to content, you can have it as its own header, I'm just going to pop it in here under unit 1 and it as a new document. And I'm just going to call this drive. I'm going to scroll down to use the HTML source editor. And there's some uh, HTML that appears here already. That'll refill with uh, the necessary stuff later. I always just get rid of it. Now what I want to do is I want to pop in my, my source code here, but I need to put it in an iframe. And if you're familiar with HTML, you can write your own uh, iframe code, but I'm not exactly all that uh, super great at it, so I get some help. I use this here site, which I can share the link with you um, wherever I share this video. <laughs> it's called 7th Space Webmaster Tools iframe generator, and this will create the, the HTML code for my uh, embedded drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that uh, whoops, URL of my new site and I don't need a name. We'll have to play around with the width but I'm going to start with 900 by 700. Generate the iframe. I'm going to copy this. Go back to my HTML source editor, I'm going to paste that in there and save. And it looks like it worked out pretty good in the preview here. I'm going to publish that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there it is. Now, because I'm still logged in over here uh, to my Gmail account, it's still giving me this top bar. So you will see that when you're logged in, but the students won't see that. So if I go over here and log out and then refresh this, it'll go away. There we go. So this is how the students see it. At this point, it would be a little cumbersome for students to actually get to this area. They'd have to go to content and then select unit one and then select drive. So to make it easier for them, I've added a link here right to this particular page in the nav bar. So this is great if you want to use it a lot. So all this is is a custom link to a URL and I'm using this URL here right out of your, uh, your URL bar. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go create the link. So I'm going to delete this one so I can make a new one. So you click create custom link I'll name it Drive, and here, be careful not to, to paste your new URL beside the given HTTP thing, because it already has it in there, and it is a secure one, so either paste over top or, uh, or get rid of this, but don't just add it to it. And another important thing is to change the behavior of the window, we're going to switch it to same window, no navbar. If you keep it on same window, 
it will uh, confuse it because where you're coming from has a nav bar and where you're going because it's within the same org also has a nav bar. So keep it same window, no nav bar. Though when they click it, the nav bar will remain because you're still in the org. Okay, so we're going to click create and there's our new link. You can put it wherever you want. Save and close. And now my new link is over here. So when students click that, they go directly to my drive folders. As easy as that. So now whatever I have in here over in Google Drive is going to be in here. And it's uh, instant uploading. It's instantly available for students. So I hope you find that useful. And it's fantastic if you do already use Google Docs a lot. As all your stuff can be seamlessly or just easily provided to the students with uh, very minimal effort. Thank you very much.